Good mo afternoon or morning, whichever it is where you're at, and welcome everyone to the Fab 7 Spring Has Sprung broadcast. We have a great show in store for you, which includes the li live drawing for the Fab 7. Uh, let's see, that would be the February special incentive. So we'll ha And we're going to have the winning district from Lipstick Mania. And I'm Dana Shungblood, district manager for District 2860. And let's pass it off to Christy with a C. Hello everyone, welcome to the broadcast. I'm Christy Alley, the district manager for District 1134 and District 1490, and I will pass it over to Miss Shana to say hello. Hi, good afternoon and good morning to everyone. I am the district sales manager for District 7900 and District 5834. Hello everyone, I'm Gretchen Griffin. I'm the district manager for District 2867 and District 7908. We cover West Virginia, part of West Virginia, part of Washington. And today I'm very excited to announce that we have a very special guest with us from District 2867, Ms. Christy Scruggs. You want to say hi to everybody, Christy? Hey everybody, it's great to be here. I'm excited to be on the broadcast. Okay, Janice, we'll pass it back to you. Okay. So is everybody ready for Mother's Day? I am so excited for Campaigns 9 and 10 brochures. Lots of great products there. So let's start out with favorite products of the district managers. Mine's Rare Amethyst, which I happen to have right here. Beautiful bottle. Think about it. This is going to be such an awesome Mother's Day gift. So Rare Amethyst, my favorite product. Um, Christy, what's your favorite product? Well, Janice, mine isn't as pretty and frilly as yours, but I hate bugs. So my favorite product that I want to highlight is the Bug Guard Wipes. You can find these in your Campaign 11 What's New. So you'll be able to get these um, this time on your Campaign 9 order, and they can keep you tick-free, bug-free. I love, can't say enough about them. How about you, Gretchen? Well, with Mother's Day coming up, you know, we have we have some daughters that have new babies, so, uh, and of course we all have the mothers and the grandmothers to buy for, so I love the new Mother's Day necklaces. We have the one with the little foot that we're giving for the daughters that has the new babies, and then we have Nana, we have a Nana, and then we have Mom, so um, these are beautiful, sterling, sterling silver necklaces, um, and Nana is really hard to find, so... I was excited to see Avon carrying it. So, how about uh, our guest speaker, Miss Christy Scruggs? Did you have something that you that you uh, liked for the next couple of campaigns? Well, sure. What about the um, nail polish? They have a lot of pretty colors coming out for spring, and you can always give mom a gift certificate for a free manicure that you can perform for, and you can use wonderful colors to make her nails shine. Good idea. How about you, Ms. Shana? Um, well, my favorite product for spring is the Fresh and Smooth Moisturizing Facial Hair Remover, but we're going to get into that a little bit later. Okay. So, great products, great products. And Christy, I'm, I'm up for that manicure, so somebody let my daughter or maybe one of my sons know. And Gretchen, you're so right about the Nana necklace. I'm Nana to my grandchildren, and that's like the first thing I've ever seen. My daughter got me the necklace right away. Didn't make me mate for Mother's Day, thank goodness, <laughs> Easter. So, coming up, we'll be sharing with you all of the great in incentives available available to you over the next few campaigns. But first, I have a question. What was Gretchen's favorite product that she just talked about? Okay, if you are the first person to text your district manager with the answer, and that means everybody, each of your district managers, so the four of us, with your answer, and then we're going to send you out some rare amethyst samples to help you with those Mother's Day sales. So now let's go to Christy for some weather. Thank you, Janice. 
So in District 1134, signs of spring started to crop up everywhere. The most beautiful thing that was blooming was your sales. So you did a great job. District 1134 was 101% to sales goals set by Avon. Amazing, awesome job. And in District 1490, the sunshine also started peeking through. The day of closeout for Campaign 7, there was a blinding light in the sky. Uh, weather officials have now detected that this extreme ray of light was not cause for concern, but it was coming from the 102% of sales that the district achieved. So way to go, everybody. And over to you, Shana. Well, in District 5834, the winds were blowing, and they were blowing up some money. So in District 5834, we were 98% to sales. So good job, because Campaign 7 was a little bit of a tough one for us. And also in District 7900, we were 96% to sales. So let's keep those winds blowing. Um, I know that we have a great storm coming for Campaign 8. How about you, Gretchen? Well, in District 2867, we had our hottest campaign yet. They're really trying to bring that sunshine in for spring. We had our highest sales of the year in Campaign 7, and they exceeded their goal by 3.5% and wrapped up the entire quarter for the first quarter of 2015, uh, exceeding their sales by 5.2%. Um, in District 7908, we still have some torrential downpours, but we all know that those those uh, spring showers are going to bring the May flowers, so we're going to be looking for some great things blooming out there. Uh, we have the average customer order increased already in 7908, and the representative order is not too far behind, so I know those sales will be coming soon. Janice, how about you? Well, that sunshine that Christy talked about definitely hit District 2860 in Campaign 7. Our sales were $5,000 over plan for a 9% increase. Woohoo! Now, in sales eight, or campaign eight, the sales mm, took a little bit of a bump there. Uh, I think we, we got a little more rainy weather, but don't forget those April showers bring the May flowers. We were down about 4%. Uh, orders holding steady, make, you know, orders each time, and we were just below those appointments, bringing those new people aboard. So. Way to kick it up there. Okay, so let's move on to national news. In national news, we're going to talk about a few incentives. And as you all know, you're hearing every day, there's lots of great new things coming out. So first, though, I think we'll, we're going to turn it over to Shana with the Beauty Editor News. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to bring to you today a couple of my favorite products that I'm loving for the spring. First, I want to introduce to you, which you should already know, is the Infinite Lift. Now, this has come out again, and it's always been out, but we're kind of refeaturing it um, this spring. And this is a great product because what it's going to do is it's going to instantly lift and firm your skin. It is a serum, so you're going to use this before your moisturizer, and it has a great roller ball on it. So it's going to be able to easily glide onto the skin, if you can see the roller ball. You're going to gently glide it up for application and this is going to give you that instant tightening, firming and lifting that you're wanting. And remember, serums also make your makeup go on smoother and stay on longer. So you always want to add that little extra to your moisturizer for the day. But of course, like we talked about earlier, my favorite product is the Fresh and Smooth Moisturizing Facial Hair Remover. Now ladies, come on, we all know that this is a part of being a woman. It is our beast of burden, but Avon can definitely help with that. So all you need is just a little bit of this on your upper lip, your chin, maybe even on the sides of your cheeks, and there you go. You're fresh and smooth as a daisy. So put your best face forward, ladies, this spring. Make sure you're using your infinite lift, and make sure that you're getting rid of all of that nasty, unwanted hair. So I'm going to turn it over now to Janet. She has some great new things in store for our representatives. Oh, thank you, Shana. What great products. Okay, love that beauty editor news. I'm going to talk about a program that maybe some of you have heard about already. The news seems to be leaking out. And it, that is our $100 new representative development program. And it starts in campaign 10. Now, it is for new representatives that are starting with us in campaign 10 or after. So with each 
new $100 order that the new representative has in her first campaigns, she'll bank or reserve, reserve listen now, a $20 rebate and also receive a free assortment of samples in her next order. That's a rebate, actually. That's money, guys. And when you think about it, $20 on $100, that's like earning another 20%. So this, this, this pretty much doubles their earnings. So what a great incentive. For those of you out there who are building your teams or thinking about building a team, this, is a, this will be a great bonus and a great help. So this will go on for five orders, her first five orders. The representative will receive, receive the total rebate up to $80 after she places her fifth order. So when she places one, two, three, four for hundred dollars or more, she's banking twenty dollars each time, and then she, when she places that fifth order, she has um, a grand total of a hundred dollars, and this will be sent to them via check or direct deposit. So, and then that, that there's the, always the, that bonus bundle product that she'll get too, and remember what I said. Each campaign with $100, she'll receive a free assortment of samples. And as always, um, she'll earn this for each campaign. So if she does miss a campaign, she'll still earn at the end. So what a great offer. I can just see those teams. Okay, so that's what we have. I think you have some exciting in, in incentive news for us, right? I sure do. I sure do, Janice. So, um, conference is coming up. It's going to be this summer in Florida. So, you have the opportunity now to earn your dream ticket to conference, and you can also earn a two night stay at the Rosen Shingle, uh, which is beautiful and amazing. So, you definitely don't want to miss out on this. How do you earn this? If you are a unit leader plus or below at the close of campaign 9. Uh, by the way, the incentive runs campaign 10 through 13. So unit leader plus or below at the close of campaign 9 and you have four new qualified team members, new representatives, uh, you're going to get the conference admission which is $249. You're going to get that for free. When you have six qualified new representatives, you're going to get that two-night stay at the Rosen Shingle as well. So very exciting, very doable. I know many of you are going to be there having a great time in Florida. Um, and I also wanted to move to those of you who are advanced unit leader and above at the close of Campaign 9. For you, your goal is just a little bit different. So you will want to meet the first generation new unit leader goal um, and you'll need to have three new first generation candidates slash promoters and that's going to give you your conference admission uh, fee paid for. And when you have five new first generation candidates, you're going to get that two night hotel stay for conference. Senior executive unit leaders and national senior executive unit leaders with a total of 20 new candidates in their first, gen uh, first three generations are also going to receive on stage recognition at the conference and an invitation to an exclusive cocktail hour. So uh, at conference, it's amazing. These guys can attest. It's so much fun and so much energy. I know you want to earn this ticket, uh, and your details should be on youravon.com. Uh, full details very very soon. And now I will pass it to Miss Gretchen. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about some fundraisers today. We just had, we, you know, Avon has wonderful fundraisers. When I started as a representative, that's one of the ways that um, I was able to achieve President's Club really quickly in my career with Avon. Um, and Avon has just redone the fundraiser uh, booklet. Actually, instead of a single page flyer, they put everything into a really nice booklet for us. So instead of having to order more than one flyer or print more than one flyer, you can just order the booklet. It has all of the fundraiser flyers available. Um, and it still has the very popular uh, pamper packs, the naturals, the makeup, um, the lip gloss, the nail polish, and then the fragrance packs. And we also, starting with campaign 10 through campaign 13, we have the uh, famous Bug Guard fundraiser. Perfect timing to get those spring sales on the way. Um, and in case you missed it, 
When you sell from a fundraiser flyer, the representative earns 50%. So it's up to you. That's a huge profit margin for you. And you can donate the portion of that to the, to the organization that you're doing the fundraiser for. So if you want to give them 20 or 30%, that's great. If you want to donate the whole profit to them, that's fine too. It's going to help your award sales. Um, so if you haven't looked at these online yet, go to youravon.com under Earning Opportunities and click on Fundraiser. You can view these flyers. You can view all the information, some tips on how to find fundraisers. Um, and uh, you, can, you can either download these and print them or order them yourself. Uh, they're $15.97 for a pack of 25 and for just a few dollars more for $18.47 you can get a pack of 25 personalized with your name and contact information already on them. So a great way to look very professional uh, with your Avon business. Just a fantastic way to earn, uh, just to earn, increase your earnings, award sales and earn more profit. Great opportunity for those new representatives out there. 50% earnings right out right out of the chute with these fundraiser flyers. So check into it. And now um, we're going to switch over to our wonderful Christy Scruggs, who is an executive unit leader. Um, she was able to make senior executive unit leader pretty quick after she started her leadership business. And she's also able to do something that most of us have the same dream to do, and that's uh, quit her full-time job and stay home with her family. Um, <laughs> And Christy has built a wonderful team of leaders, and she's just a, a wonderful leader. She really does uh, mentor and, and motivate her team. So she's going to share a little bit about some of the things that she's been doing that, that I was really impressed with, uh, with her team and her Get, Get Fed incentive. And I'll let her tell you a little bit more about it. So Christy, over to you. So everybody's already heard about the Get Fit incentive that's out there for leadership. And it doesn't matter if you're a new started with your first campaign or if you're all um, everybody can participate in this incentive regardless of where you are with your Avon business. And what you want to do is you want to sit down and look at the information that's out there and read through it and make sure that you understand it and how it applies to you. Um, what I did was I, I went through and I read everything and um, the light bulb came on and I started thinking how this was going to apply to those people in my downline. So I wanted to get out there and schedule meetings to go meet with them individually so that we could sit down and discuss how this program is going to help benefit their business and how if they utilize this program correctly, it's going to help build their business a lot quicker um, the normal and they're going to be able to make more money and they're going to have a bigger team and a better foundation by the time that they start the advanced leadership program. Um, so the first thing you do is sit down look at the information and make sure that you understand it and if you don't you need to contact your district manager or your upline immediately and tell them you know I need some information on this I'm not quite getting it I'm not understanding everything fully. Um, and then figure out what you need in order to utilize it the best. You know, for new people and um, existing candidates, there's certain tracks for you. And you want to make sure that you understand them and that you don't miss out on that money because there's a lot of money out there that's available for you. You want to make sure that you get as much as possible of it. And even if you're AUL or above, you know, the great thing is they brought back that mentoring bonus and you don't want to miss out on that money. So by helping your downline grow, you're helping your wallet grow. And that's what we're here for. We're here to make some money. We're here to help people realize their dreams and um, get to those goals. Um, without it, you know, you're just going to sit there and you're going to spin your wheels. And you're going to get frustrated and you're going to end up, you know, pushing it back and quitting on your dream. So you've got to stay focused and you've got to get out there and make this stuff happen. Um, and don't wait for someone to push you into it. You're, you are self-motivated. You can do this. You just have to believe in yourself and get out there and make it happen. Great advice, great tips always from Miss Christy Scruggs. If you're not already on her Facebook group, uh, look her up. She has a, a, a public group called Believe in Your 
your success, correct, Christy? That's it. Okay, she shares some wonderful motivation, some great tips on there. So uh, make sure you're getting fit, and the idea is to get fit and stay fit, like Christy said, with uh, Campaign 17 coming up for Advanced Leadership. So. So thank you very much for sharing, Christy, and I think we're going to switch over to local news with the other Christy now. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Christy Scruggs. That was that was wonderful and very very helpful. Um, so local news: the top three in online sales. I want to announce. We'll start with District 1490. Um, so this is for Campaign Eight online sales. Number one was Rowena Winfrey. Number two was Miss. Miss Kathy Baran and number three was Nancy Hoop. So great job, great job. And in District 1134, the top three for online sales Miss Stacy Wright, Miss Sherry Colburn, and Deborah Day. Congratulations, great job, ladies. Uh, whose name's going to be there next time? You'll have to tune in to find out. Let's go see who Shana's got. Well, thanks, Christy. In District 5834 for our online sales, our top three are Tammy Ramsey, Mary Goller, and Shirley Roberts. And then in District 7900, we have Julie Lawson, Deanna Sheckler, and Becky Hines. So congratulations, ladies. Your businesses are booming. You are definitely earning those two ways to sell. So keep it up. And now we're over to Gretchen. What's going on in your districts, Gretchen? Well, I'm excited about direct delivery sales. I know, I know you guys are as well. Uh, we have a huge opportunity, but we have some representatives that are really taking advantage of it. So in District 2867, we have number three, Miss Julie Petrie, with $81. Number two, with Beth, Hart Beth Hartsook at $117. And number one, everybody loves Miss Alice Smith with $158. So congratulations to District 2867. And for District 7908, we have number three, Miss Carrie Ball with $68, Patricia Clark with $79, and the number one in direct delivery sales is a brand new representative placing her very first order, and this is just her direct delivery sales from online, $240, Miss Maisie Schreffler. Congratulations, <laughs> Maisie. So Janice, we're over to you now. Okay. In District 2860, in Campaign 8, Clay Semino, in the second campaign only, $85 in online sales for customers. And then number two, Alyssa Long, Aisha, I'm sorry, Aisha Long, $88. And number one, Kathy Bledsoe with $218. And I think that's a name we've heard before. She's got that market cornered, so great job. And you know, usually everybody, the online sales are additional sales. This is a great, great way to add to your sales. And it does add to your sales. It helps to, you know, get that discount up there. It counts for your award sales towards President's Club. Just a wonderful, wonderful way to add to those sales. So, who's ready for some sports news? Let's go to the sports report. You know, and, and <laughs> Everyone can get in the game with President's Club now. That's the great part. Yeah. So, in District 2860, over well over 3% of the representatives in the district earned either uh, $35 awards or product bundles and also President's Club points. So, great job, District 2860. But now, let's talk about sales. Okay, and in Campaign 8, our top five, Linda Williams, $1,004. She's number five. Number four, Peggy Snyder, $1,009. Deanna Saliga, $1,322. Diane O'Connor, and Diane, I'm really proud of you. Number two in sales. This is the first time ever she's been number two. $1,696. And then Lois Metcalf, boy Lois, $4,776. Great sales, ladies. So, Shana, how's it going your way for sports news? Well, we are doing really well over here in District 5834. Um, our top five in sales was Angela Dalton, Cheryl Yeaber, 
Sharon Woodruff, Shirley Roberts, and Janet Feltner. And then in District 7900, we have Judy Field, Rhea Hastings, Kelly Brown, Kathy Reed, and Susan Baker. So congratulations, ladies. Keep it up. You are our top five winners in each district and our top ten in the combined district. So great job. And then we're going to give it off to Gretchen. All right. So we have uh, some great great athletes here in our districts. In District 2867, we had 27 representatives earning rewards. And our top five in sales were Miss Diane Hatcher at number five, Missy Tenney at number four, Juanita C. at number three, and Joyce Arbogast sneaking up there at number two. And number one, Becky Canfield still holds that spot. And in District 7908, we have 12 representatives achieve rewards. And the top five in sales were number five, Deborah Schumacher, number four, Kathleen Higgins, number three, Lonnie Alley scooting up there, and number two, Marge McAlpin, number one, still Jeannie Green holding that number one position. Christy Alley, how about in your area? Thanks, Gretchen. Uh, so we had in District 1490, we had 10 people who earned awards points either through Just For Us, they earned product bundles, $35 bonuses, or Taste of Taste of PRP uh, awards points. And for the top five in sales for Campaign 7, this was a brutal fight. Uh, this was so close. So starting with number one, Ronald Sparks with $1,298. And then India Williams with $1,280. And then Kathy Brand with $1,250. As we move on, Vivian Osborne, $1,036, and Marsha Armbrister, $1,030 in sales for Campaign 7. Great job. Uh, in District 1134, we had 17 people who earned awards um, for Campaign 6 and 7, so amazing job there. Um, and the top five in sales for Campaign 7, they were also fighting it out. Um, Willie Reese with 1,465 in sales. Emma Jones with 1,464. Miss Madeline Carter with $1,379. Ann Walker with $1,203. And Paula Woolbright with $1,152. Amazing job to both districts for those top five and all those who uh, earned awards. And now. And now we're going to move to the Ricky Report. So we're going to recognize uh, those representatives who are new, uh, who have the top three sales uh, among the new. Again, District 1134, uh, number one, and this is just phenomenal sales for our first campaign. Miss Pat Wyatt with $534 in sales in her very first campaign. And this is District 1134. And then Linda Chandler with $381. And Dorothy Wynn with $312 in brand new first order sales. As we move to District 1490, our top three starting with number one, Miss Hannah Tucker with $174. Stacey Nunn with $121. And Tasha Shoup with $113. Great job for new representatives. And we'll move on to Shana. How's your rookie report? Oh, we've got some great rookies coming up in this league. In District 5834, we have Sammy No, Carrie Cozy, and in first place, Chris Smith. And then in District 7900, we have Daniel Sela, Danielle Seeliff, Trina Hickman, and Patricia Hernandez in first place. So great job, everyone. Keep it up. You're to, off to a great start with your business. How about you, Gretchen? What's going on over there? Wow, we have some amazing rookies and they have the bases loaded and some of them are even already in the home run and, and uh, knocking it out of the ballpark. So in District 2867, uh, our number three rookie is Jamie Snyder with $201, Patricia Toller with $249 in the number two slot, and number one, Angel Starkey with $404. First orders, ladies. District 7908, oh my gosh, number three, Laura Fody with 109, number two, Regina Cooley, 403, 403, number two spot, number one, $970, first order, Miss Maisie Treffler. <laughs> Amazing. She's awesome. <laughs> so, how about you, Janice? Well, you know, 
we in two eight, District 2860, we consider our rookies some of our most valuable players, and in Campaign 8, they sure were. In third place, Christina Hampton, $169. Second, Carrie Hamry, $224. And number one, Gail Kearns, $299. Gosh, we love our rookies. Now, let's pass off to Gretchen. I think Gretchen has some fun things to announce, like who won the secret phrase contest from last time. I think we have I think we have some some entries in here. Let's see. This is from the February broadcast. And the drawing the winner, uh, you needed to place your campaign. Let's see, what was it? Four and five orders back then? <laughs> it's been so long. You needed to place your two orders and then have the correct secret passphrase. And let's see who the winner is. Have it right here. Miss Deborah Godfrey from District 2860. Janice. <laughs> now we have Christy Alley with uh, some new some new news coming up, some new incentives. I think we're gonna change it up, right? A little bit. Yeah, we are. We're going to change it up. So we are so excited, and we're going to find out in just a minute. I'm sure that I'm keeping this crown. I'm, I'm positive. I, I know it. I just know it. But uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it. It's mine. It's, it's ours. We got it. But uh, so let's talk about our, our newest um, passphrase. So we'll go ahead and give that out. So get ready, everybody. The new passphrase is April showers. So this time, that's your passphrase, the secret code, it's April showers. And this time, we're going to do something different. We're going to help you to put money in your pocket with this passphrase contest. So what we are going to do is we're going to send a Google Doc to you where you can report how many nail polishes that you sell from the Campaign 10 brochure. So we have this great deal. For $349, Christy Scruggs talked about this. Everyone's painting their toenails. These are bright, springy colors. We know you'll get lots and lots of add-on sales. So you want to ask your customers how many nail polishes they'd like to add. Then total up your nail polish sales for Campaign 10 and submit them on the Google document along with this secret passcode, which is April Hours. And what are you going to get? We're going to every month award the crown. Of course, I, I do have to keep my Miss Freeze crown. But anyway, we're going to award the crown and we're going to send you out a special certificate from us. You're going to have the Fab 7 crown for that month, whoever sells the most nail polish. But what's important than that is the money that you're going to make, the add-on sales that you're going to get. So we're so excited for you. Sell those nail polishes in campaign 10 and I can't wait to announce the Fab 7 crown uh, winner. <laughs> Now, Gretchen, go ahead and give, give you know give us the crown officially. Let's go. Okay. So we had Lipstick Mania Challenge uh, on our last broadcast, where the district, uh, the Fab Seven district that had the most lipstick sales, would get to wear the crown. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, Christy Alley does not want to give up that that beautiful tiara that she's won. But I have to tell you. District 2867 came in first with the Lipstick Mania Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. Put it back in its box. <laughs> That's okay. I know that the Fab 7 crown winner is going to be for District 1490 or 1134 with those nail polish shells. We're going to get it next time. I hate to let the cat out of the bag, but I think we're going to be the ones who are going to get it. <laughs> No, 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 no. We in District 2860, we're, we're stepping up to this challenge. The challenge is on. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies, do you have any winners from the live contest today? No. Yes. Okay, let, I'll begin. Um, we're going to wrap up. Let everybody get a chance to say bye, and I'm I'm going to put on my Get Fit band here because I think it's time everybody. The April showers are springing. It's time to get fit. So uh, the challenge is on. 
Uh, can't wait till next time. And in District 2860, that, that sneaky little Deb Godfrey, she was the first to text with the right answer. It was uh, Gretchen's sterling silver necklaces, the mom and Nana and the footprint. Love that. So uh, Gretchen, who texted you? Well, um, it's been a very exciting day, and I'm happy to report that Miss Sarah Hayden from District 2867 was the first um, correct answer. Christy Scruggs was a quick second. <laughs> <laughs> and from District 7908, we have Miss Carrie Gadd. So look for your little goodies in the mail soon, ladies, and thank you for participating in our live contest. Um, I have to thank everyone today for, for allowing us to take up a little bit of your time. Hopefully you enjoyed and got some great information. And a very, very special thanks to Miss Christy Scruggs for um, being our very special guest speaker today. She's our first, first representative guest. So thank you very much, Christy, for sharing your expertise. <laughs> and I have got a winner, too. Uh, fast with her texting fingers, Miss Carrie McCauley texted in the correct answer first. So, Carrie, look um, for your little goodies to come to you for that, too. We've had a great time today, everyone, even though I lost my crown. I know we're going to get it back next month uh, with the nail polishes. So, how about you, Shana? Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Unfortunately, I didn't have a text winner. Lots of answers, but not the right one. So, <laughs> next time we'll get them. <laughs> But thank you everyone for joining us and I know for, for some of you out there, um, District 5834 is a new district added to the Fab 7, so for everyone who watched today, thank you for getting on your first live broadcast and there's many more to come. Thanks to everyone. Join us next time. Our Bye. next Fab 7 will be May 7th. That's four weeks from today at noon, May 7th. Hope you can join us then. We're really looking forward to it. And keep an eye out. May add. Uh, Christy, would you like to talk about what we may add? Uh, well, I was going to tell them. I forgot to give them the deadline for the nail polish. The oh. deadline to turn in your nail polish is May 5th. May 5th. So, uh, campaign 10, uh, or RPS 10 order day. So May 5th, campaign 10 nail polishes. District 1490 and 1134, wearing the crown, one more time. Okay, back to you, Janet. <laughs> okay, and as I said, watch your Facebook, watch your emails, watch, look out for some new and added Google Hangouts coming up. Okay, let's get fit. Get fit. <laughs> Bye, everyone.